everyone, Kim here, Abundant Life Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. I wanted to do a tarot oracle combo video and it is featuring the Curious Travels Tarot deck. Got that here. And it's a little dilly out. And an oldie of mine, the Oracle of Essences. Okay, the Oracle of Essences. Let's look at the card backs. I'll show you. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. So, so, so pretty. So, I used these in a reading for my Poise to Leap members today. And I was like, oh, I'm really liking the combo, the look, the feel, the messages, how they, how they talk to one another, these two decks. And I'm like, let me do a quick video. Let me show you all about this combo. What decks are you using with your Curious Travels Tarot deck? Let me know in the comment section down below because I'm curious. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm curious about the Oracle decks that you use with your Curious Travels Tarot deck. All right. Let's switch camera angles and get right into it. Okay, so we're looking now at a different angle of the cards and we have here the boxes. Even the boxes play well together. <laughs> they do. The third edition is out as of this, of the most recent edition on the creator's website and in the creator's Etsy shop. I checked just to be sure if this was still in print and it is. So now let's shuffle them up. We want some, we want a spontaneous combo. I want a spontaneous combo. And what I mean by that is I want to shuffle them and see what randomly comes up. Okay, let's see. We got that page of wands. Hmm. Black pepper. Destructive patterns. That's an interesting combo. It's like the shadow aspects of the Page of Wands. I'm being careful, like doing something new, following that spark, um, but, you know, keeping a level head, don't get in your own way, you know, think before you leap, and that type of energy here. Huh, that's interesting. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see him a little more closely. Two of Cups. Grapefruit. Detox. Dissatisfaction. Now, artistically they go well together, but it's an interesting combo with the Two of Cups um, and Grapefruit. Detox, dissatisfaction, maybe needing a break in a relationship, needing to, you know, spend a little time on your own this coming weekend. Each of you stay at your own spots. You know, it could be something like that to keep the keep the relationship going strong. I like that. We have Eight of Cups and Petty Grain. <clears throat> King of Wands and Rosemary, Evolution and Movement. It looks almost like a King of Wands there. Right there. I 
am curious to know what decks you have been using with your Curious Travels Tarot, whether it's Tarot or other, you know, like other Tarot decks or Oracle decks. Share in the comment section. Let's see, we have Ace of Wands and Lang Lang. Sensuality and intimacy. That message definitely goes well together with that Ace of Wands. I like that. Four of Wands, Clary Sage, Intuition, Clarity, and Cycles. It's a pretty combo. And even the car backs. <laughs> the Four of Wands and then the car backs of the Oracle of the Essences. Just giving us all that botanical power. Just looking so beautiful. Love flowers. Okay, oh, we have oregano. Let me see what that's next. Ace of Cups, Clarity, Experience, and Protection. Wow. Lime. <laughs> Interesting combo. Eight of Swords, Entertainment, Lime, Entertainment, and Delight. Maybe it's guidance on how to deal with a stressful situation. Like this is the situation. Here is how to kind of give yourself a little break from it, I suppose. Cilantro, changes and freedom. And then we have the magician. I love cilantro. Absolutely love it. Eat it all. Like, it's, I consume it every other day. <laughs> it is like the magician in my life. It is a herbal magician. I like it, though. Okay. Three of Cups and Eucalyptus. Liberation and well-being. Spicknard, Spicknard, Wisdom and Magic. And then we have the Six of Wands. Neroli. Ten of Cups, Cause and Effect. The Chariot, Arbor, I cannot say, Arbor Vitae, Arbor Vitae, I don't know. But it's completion and wholeness. Hmm. Wow. That's an unexpected but powerful combo. The Hermit. And Jasmine, Finale, and Fertility. Wow. That's a powerful message. Right? Oh my goodness. I love that. The, the shades of darkness and the cycles and going within and, and going into the shadow up to birth something new with that hermit energy, right? Bringing something forth. From within, this fertility. It's interesting. Okay, we have Seven of Swords and Wild Orange. Opportunity and abundance. You got to be a little fox, you know, like a fox and strategic, and it'll lead you to opportunities in abundance. If you, you know, Start to look out for your best interests. Start to strategize. Give yourself months of time to plan and, and move and make decisions. And maybe even incorporate a little wild orange in your, into your 
you know, herbal essences, healing practices, you know, using like a diffuser or essential oils or, yeah, I love wild orange. I love the scent of it. And the colors just definitely complement each other. Love this combo so far. Unexpected messages coming up, and I'm here for it. King of Cups and Marjoram, 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 trust and benevolence. That definitely goes with the King of Cups energy. Loving this fish, you know, so it could be male, female energy. Um, and just where it's what's an embodying it's embodying trust and benevolence this king of cups look at all of that wow I like that look a moon and a moon although there's also a sun there's like balance here an emotionally balanced person or emotionally balanced situation Right on. Oh my goodness. The Empress in Cassia, 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 strength and confidence. She's an Empress in her own right, isn't she? Oh my goodness. moon and lemongrass purify and rejuvenate huh. time bravery and resentment king of coins or king of pentacles feeling very King of Pentacles with all of this green and plant life and arch, or like the arch, the abundance and wow, okay. We have basil and the star, relief, rejuvenation. Wow, that definitely is very star-like energy. Relief, rejuvenation, restoration, healing, recuperation, right? I dig that one. I dig this little setup, this little combo here. Let's do a few more. There's a six of cups. Melaluca, Melaluca, probably mispronouncing, I'm sure. But it's protection and adversity. Protection, emotional protection against adversity that could come one's way. You're protected. Hmm. Or this connection, this relationship is like it has protective energy to it, so it's safe to explore this relationship, I suppose. We would have next up is strength. Let's see. Ya. Let's see. Let's see, yeah. expectations and empathy. Yes. Wow. Knight of Wands and Sandalwood, spirituality and faith. Yes, yes, and yes. of sorts and lemon could be like okay this is what's going to help you um, gain some clarity be able to help usher in a decision um, to focus to clear your mind to cleanse the thoughts so you can make room to make a decision like you've been so that could be like um, it's the medicine to 
what's been going on, like someone being indecisive. Maybe it's time to, you know, bring about the essence of lemon. Hmm. That's interesting. Two of Pentacles, Coriander, Perspectives and Life Mission. I have been really, really connecting and digging the Curious Travels Tarot deck, I have to say. You're gonna you're gonna start to get tired of me soon of chit chatting about it. It's for me gonna be one of those decks. I can feel it. I can feel it. We have six of coins, six of pentacles, and frankincense, rebirth and repair. I'm so in love with these. I don't know the colors and the shapes, how they all kind of mirror in the other image. Nine of Wands and Tangerine, Gratitude and Charisma. Great being grateful for how far you've come. You're almost there. You can push through. You see how she's, it's interesting, she's, I think those are apples, are falling out of her basket. When you're at the Nine of Wands, you're like, oh, are we there yet? I don't know how much more longer I can push through, but I'm going to try to push through. I'm, I'm not going to focus on what has, you know, has already happened. I need to just keep pushing forward and get to the finish line. And so for some reason, seeing those little, the fruits tipping over, she's like, you know what? I'll make the best of it. It's the energy. She's got gratitude for what remains. What is left? Not far to go. Look how far you come. I like that. Okay. The Hanged Man and Lavender. Expression and Release. Nice. I could do this all night. <laughs> Vetiver, concentration and grounding in the devil. The colors definitely are complementing one another, that's for sure. And vetiver or concentration and grounding could be the antidote to repeated negative um, thought patterns. You know, bringing forth this energy to counteract what's going on here with the devil. Love it. Oh my goodness. Five of Cups, Roman Chamomile, Consciousness, purpose, Purposefulness, and that is also the antidote or also what could help move someone out of the Five of Cups energy of seeing the glass how full or only focusing on what has spilled and what has gone by and the disappointments versus what remains and, and actually what remains is really your true blessings and this like Roman chamomile card is about checking in with your thoughts are you are you focusing too much is your emotions focusing too much on the disappointments, all the disappointments, and leaving no room to focus on your purpose for the day or living a more pers purposeful life. This could bring that about. That could bring some change to that, some relief to that Five of Cups. Getting a hold of some Roman chamomile to help you nurse a heartbreak, for example. Okay. Fennel, Eight of Wands, Intensity, Overpowering. That's interesting. I love that energy of the Eight of Wands. Intensity, intense energy. Could be a lot coming at you, but you can you can do it. Queen of Coins, Queen of Pentacles, I mean. And geranium, acceptance and nurturing. Yes. 
glorious combination. Nurturing, that's what we think of. Safe space in your mom's lap. <laughs> Safe space. Eight of Pentacles, Cinnamon, Sexuality, and Creativity. Wow. Nine of Pentacles and Birch, Support and Union. Ten of Pentacles, Myrrh, Compassion and Belonging. Wow, I love that. Look at the elephants, the family of elephants. And then Belonging and Compassion. Oh my goodness. Really, really digging this combo. I'll have to see what other decks play well with my Curious Travels. We'll see. Five of Wands and Spearmint, Creative Expression. Bergamot, Determination and Maturity <laughs> against the Four of Cups. Someone needs a little Bergamot in their life for some determination and a little more maturity. <laughs> Four of Cups here. Leaning back in his chair. Okay. Copaiva, Growth and Accomplishment and Knight of Wands. Love that. And we'll end there. We'll end there, friends. Let's see, I'll just give another good look. Growth and accomplishment. So let me know, what do you think of these two pairings or this pairing? I don't have another pairing for now, but what do you think about these two decks coming together um, for a tarot combo situation? I am loving them and I plan on using these decks and like upcoming like readings for you all on the channel when I do like you know live readings and you all come to my channel come to the live I'm going to see about incorporating this deck I think I have a couple of other decks that will play nicely with it if I think of something well I'll share it with you all one way or the other in an upcoming tarot combos video or in an entirely different situation, like a live stream. <laughs> you will see the combos. All right, do me a favor on your way out, please. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Let me know what um, decks you are loving at the moment, a good tarot and oracle combo. We wanna hear from you and I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now.